Post game here as the Kings picking up their first win of the season with a 4-2 victory over the Langley Riverman. Jordan Kiss with assistant coach Chris Clack. And Chris, how good does that feel picking up the first win of the year? Yeah, it feels really good. Uh, you know, the boys were excited after after the room there. You could see it on the bench all game, you know, playing with the lead. This time when we had the lead, we really locked it down and, and we had that comp so we knew we were going to win that game. So, well, nice to see. Great win, tough start to the game though as uh, you, you, you give the puck up in your own zone, leads to a 2 on 0 and uh, Langley scoring 44 seconds in on their first shot of the game. Yeah, not the, not the start we wanted, not the way we, uh, we drew that game up. Um, uh, but again, you know, something happens, you face a little bit of adversity, we bounce right back and we had, we had a really good rest of the period there and uh, the guys responded well. And you go into the second period and it seems you guys just started to take control of this game. You were, you know, lots of puck possession in the offensive zone. A little trouble getting the shots on it, but you're controlling play. Langley had nothing at the other end. And then Calvin Beard, what a day for his birthday, uh, scoring his first BCHL goal. Yeah, that was awesome. I, know I, wish, I wish him a, a happy birthday there. He, he deserved that. You know, before I talked to him, just keep on shooting. He has a really good shot. He's got a wicked shot. Uh, he makes a lot of really, really good moves around the blue line, walks the blue line uh, really well. So it was just for him. He was getting a puck on net there. And, uh, yeah, I thought we did a really good job dominating that period uh, in the second game, their momentum back. And uh, our F1... Uh, and our forecheck was a lot better tonight. We made a few uh, a few tweaks to the system this week, and it, and it and it showed that it really worked. And the, and the guys were really, were really grasping it. They bought into the system, and uh, you know they just stuck to our game plan. And and we weren't really focusing on the result. We were focusing on period by period, winning a period, winning your next shift, winning your next battle. And uh, you know at the end of the game, there it all came together for us. It did. It came together in the third period, you guys. Even after two periods, you kept your foot on the gas pedal in the third, and then you go up 2-1, and new king, Tommy Carmiris, in his King's debut, takes the pass from Thomas Belzeal, puts it in. He added the empty netter later on in the game. Three points for him. But what could you say about Tommy Carmiris in his first game as a king? Yeah, yeah, you know he came in uh, right from day one, and, and he and he put his he put his head down. And he went to work. Uh, he was, you know, it's it's a, it's a lot coming into a new place. You know, you're meeting new new coaches, uh, new coaches, new players. Uh, you're coming into new systems. So I thought he did a really good job handling that. I thought, you know, Mr. Seeger there, uh, Steph Junior, he did a really good job hopping on that. He saw him uh, that he got released there from couch, and he hopped right on there. And uh, you know, I, I know you watched some video on him, and, and we really liked what. what what he could do and uh, we saw it in a full display tonight so I was happy for Tommy there he came and he stepped up and uh, we're expecting that down the, down the road. And you make it 3-1 Ryan Arnold taking advantage of a Langley giveaway in their own zone and that's a big confidence for, boost for him as he's somebody that's kind of really stepped up his game over the last little bit. Absolutely yeah no I was happy for Arnie there you know it, it seemed like the last few games there he's, he's really going to work he's working hard he's doing the right things he just wasn't getting rewarded so it's nice to see him get rewarded tonight. And then after that, you know, you're controlling the play leading up. Then after that, you guys, again, like you said, you kind of locked it down defensively. Langley kind of took control. But again, you guys were not allowing a lot of pucks through. And you liked the way that you guys stood up to the, to the task up by one. Or, sorry, up by two yeah. uh, with, when the pressure was on. Yeah, I thought, you know, we didn't take our, our foot off the gas there. Uh, and that was a, one of the main vocal points. And just having a really good F3. Being really responsible in the offensive zone. Having a good F3. Staying above them. Not giving them anything that they don't deserve. Making them earn it. Uh, I thought we did a really good job there. And, and again, in the defensive zone, we were chipping pucks out. We were getting pucks out of our blue line, which is crucial. Uh, uh, guys were getting in front of pucks and blocking shots, which was nice. And, you know, guys guys on the bench, uh, they they got up for that, right? That's uh, one guy does it, the next guy does it. So it was nice to see. And then, you know, Langley made it close at the end of the game. They uh, scored to make it 3-2 with just over two and a half minutes to go. What was kind of the focus on, on, the, on the bench uh, right after that? Yeah, again, you know, we just we, we went over uh, the time that was called there. Um, and we said, you know, settle down. Everyone take a deep breath. We're winning this game. We're going to do it. We know what we have what it takes. Um, everyone, you know, we drew up a, a few six on five plays at the end there but the main thing is just staying tight communication blocking shots and, and willing to sacrifice and i thought we did a really good job doing that and closing out that game when that puck went into the empty net what was your feeling was it relief just like thank god or what were you feeling it was a little bit of a relief yeah for sure uh it was nice to get the first one as a team as a staff everything i think uh, you know it's uh, the first one was hard to come by but 
Uh, you know, every single day we've been going to work and we've been trying to get better and our guys have been putting in the work, they're trying to get better. Um, and, you know, we, we promised them that we were going to make some changes and uh, I'm just really happy that, that they really bought into the system that, that, that we changed and, and uh, it was nice to see them get rewarded and, and, and Powell River as a, as, a, as a whole. It was nice to see the fans get excited there at the end. Uh, Vincent Lamberti made his first start of the season and it was very Lamberti-esque. Uh, for him, a tough start, giving up the goal on, on the first shot he faced, but he did the usual things. He fought, he battled, and he, he did a great job between the pipes. Yeah, I mean his uh, his compete levels like next to, next to none. Um, you know when he's when he's in the net there. You know I think um, he did his job. He made the saves that he had to make. Uh, I think the the last one there went off his shin pad again, and then that's that's been a theme. That it's just a couple of bad bounces again. But uh, no, I think uh, on the on the back end there tonight he was really solid, and uh, we you know we missed him over the last few weeks. But uh, you know I I think he did his job tonight, and I was really happy to see him back in that net. Now giving up goals ha has been a troublesome issue uh, early on this season, but today you only give up two, and you talk about you got with some great goaltender from Vincent Lamberti and you know the guys bought into the systems and I think it really showed especially on the defensive side of things. Yeah you know I think we just stayed over on, uh, above guys all night uh, we didn't give them anything easy or there wasn't too many on ramp man rushes tonight and that's our the main focus uh, was changing that and, and eliminating those all man rushes because the last few games we were giving up a lot. Um, our D zone has been good again our swarm and our and our, our man on man coverage is communication getting in shot, shotting our sh shot lanes and then like just pushing them and force them outside keeping them to the perimeter i think we're doing a really good job in tight and uh, again our, our swarm was good our pins were good uh, our releases were really good so uh, kudos to those guys it's it's not it's not easy it's it's hard it's hard to play defense but i thought we bought in and, and we played hard tonight and and the results show you know we only gave up two there so moving forward i think uh, the guys can can learn from that and, and now we know you know guys know what it takes to win so it's nice and also another great thing about today's game the kings didn't take a penalty uh, and you guys kept it even strength pretty much the entire game and sometimes the best penalty kill is not having to kill a penalty how do you like the discipline that you guys no that, that was awesome that's something we've been talking about we have to be more disciplined you know it's it's okay if we take a, a hard penalty every once in a while um but if any time we can stay off the board and take no penalties that makes it easy on us and makes our job easy as a as a group there in a, in a, in a unit um but yeah, we had a lot of stick for infractions the last few games, and we uh, we tried to cut that every game tonight. I'm glad. I, I'm proud of the guys that that, that worked out for us. So uh, now, of course, you guys you said you guys know what it takes to win. Now you, you go back to business again tomorrow night. Obviously, you you want to enjoy this first one of the season. It's a big moment. But now you you got the same team tomorrow night uh, in the Langley Riverman. What's it going to be that that transitional period now? Is okay. Enjoying the win, but also, hey, we, we have to do, we have to show that we can do it again tomorrow night. Hundred percent, yeah. We're not satisfied uh, by any means, but we're, we are excited about the way we're going to enjoy it here for the next 10, 15 minutes. Um, you know, make sure the guys get home, uh, get the nutrition in them, get some sleep, and be prepared to come back tomorrow. That's a really good team on the other side there, and uh, they've been clicking in the past the past few games. So they're going to be hungry tomorrow night, and we're going to have to match that energy and match their intensity and, and uh, exceed those expectations. We're going to come. We're, we got to be ready for their their storm that they're going to throw at us and and come back and and uh, encounter that and play the same way we did tonight. Uh, is, the main thing is consistency. We showed we could play 60 minutes tonight, which was awesome. We gotta do it again tomorrow. Well, Kings and Riverman back in action tomorrow night, seven o'clock right here from the Hat Park Arena. Chris, thanks for your time. Enjoy the victory tonight and we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Thank you very much.